Alright guys, welcome back to another knife video. This is a, uh, not a new knife, but new this year, I believe. Um, came about six, seven months ago, maybe eight months ago. Spyrco Mantra 1. This is the one, there's a two that has a different kind of blade shape. Um, I like this one a little bit better. Mine are like a lot of a Delica, so it is the Spyrco box out of the way. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of go over the specs real quick, and then I'll give you my impressions and my pros and cons of this knife. So... Your blade length is 3.16 inches of CPM M4 steel. Awesome steel. You have a 4.14 inch close, so very compact knife, but not too small. Overall length 7.3. Your cutting edge is 3.14, or excuse me, 3.1. Yeah, 3.14, so just shy of the 3.16 blade there. You have a um, blade thickness of 0.118. So not terribly thick. Should be a great slicer. Full flat grind on this. You can see that. It goes all the way up. Beautiful grind on that. Uh, Reeve Integral Lock. Titanium scales. And weighs in at 3 ounces. Made in Taichung, Taiwan. You have right hand up tip up carrier or left hand. So it is um, reversible. And it's a very ambidextrous knife because you have the flipper. You have the spidey hole to open. So... Let's go ahead and uh, give you kind of a close up of this. You got some nice, kind of a almost a nuked finish on this on the titanium. It has a, a pretty heavy stone washing, so it's not going to show wear at all. Uh, you have a, your lanyard hole here. Same on the lock side there. Jimping up here. No jimping on the flipper at all. Kind of a smaller flipper tab too. No jimping there. And it has jimping there. Uh, grip wise, very comfortable, great ergonomics, um, feels great in the hand. It's about perfect for my size hands. It is, like I said, about four inches close. So it is a kind of a smaller to medium sized knife, I'd call it. So, first impressions um, reminds me of a Delica. I've always liked the Delicas. I think it's a classic design. Here is a Delica right here, an old school steel and steel one there. Can see the size shape of the blade very very similar difference being this is a lock back and this is a flipper it is on bearings it has a steel lock bar insert here see the lock up there same kind of steel lock bar insert they use on the spyderco souther the domino the dice very similar all made in tai chung so um that's actually one of my complaints about this knife and i'll get into it here in a minute when we do the uh cons let's see what the pros pros are i love the size i love the weight I love the titanium handles. I love that you can use the spidey hole. You can do the middle finger flick. You can use the thumb. And you can use the flipper. So you literally have three different ways to open this knife, which is pretty awesome. It's a um, great slicer. I mean, look at that full flat grind. Pretty thinly cut behind the edge. And it's ground, excuse me, not cut. And it is, it's just it's a great slicer. It just slices through uh, food. It slices through paper, um, boxes. Things you're going to use on a daily basis, but really where it kind of excels is slicing like your apples, your tomato, something like that. It's, it's just really good at doing that. With the M4 still, you have to be a little careful unless you, unless you do want to patina, then you you know go right go crazy because you can patina that still pretty quickly. I love the M4 still. That's another thing I love about this steel of this knife. Spyderco does their M4 great. This knife came stupid sharp out of the box, man. Just cut you right open easily. Um, Great heat treat on the on the M4. I, I have it on my I've had it on a Gale Bradley, and I have it on my um, Paramilitary 2 carbon fiber. I also have the Paramilitary 2 natural JG10 version. So I've had quite a few knives with M4, and they've all performed great. So I love that it looks like a Delica. I love that it reminds me of a flipper titanium Delica. I just love that part about the knife. I love the ergonomics of the knife. It's very comfortable in this grip here, in the reverse grip there. And then in this grip here as well, with that jimping right there, it's just really good. I mean, very comfortable. It is, like I said, smaller. If you have smaller or bigger hands, you may have some issues. Um, Size-wise, just let's do a quick comparison. Kaiser, Ursa Minor, very, very similar. The Wii Knives 605, very similar. All titanium frame locks. Let's throw in the Boker Patriot. Patriot's a little bit bigger, not a whole lot. Oop, helps if it's in in uh can't even think of the word frame there we go not quite <laughs> there we go and 
smaller knife. Let's move some of these out of the way. The Dragonfly Salt. So you can see it's a lot bigger than that. So it's a medium to small size knife. Um, I think it's actually kind of a perfect size, really, for me. It's kind of like right in my sweet spot. So what don't I like about the Spyderco Mantra? It's not... The detent is pretty weak. And I... I mean, you can easily... Uh, that flip just open. I haven't had any problems flipping it, but I flip a lot of knives. I'm used to it. <clears throat> I have a buddy that's new to knives, and the first thing he did is he flipped it, and it it went like that. Yeah, there we go. See, it kind of filled it. it. Just it didn't. It doesn't have a very strong detent. You really have to load up that flipper to get it to flip. Um, but I think they did that on purpose so you could use the thumb hole for the middle finger flick or the slow open or the thumb. I mean. So it's kind of meant to open three different ways, um, but it is a flipper, and I tend to just prefer my flippers to be have a stronger detent. So, but it, it, you know, it's, it comes with its it comes it's kind of a pros and cons because it comes with the ability to open the knife in other ways. So that's one thing I would kind of change on is the is the detent. Now it's not the smoothest knife for being on bearings either. I mean, you kind of really got to shake it to, to close it. Um, the lock bar insert is just overly huge. I don't understand why it's so big. I mean, let's look at this Kaiser. Look how teeny that is. That's just teeny. Look at the size difference. It's massive. I mean, I really don't get it. Now, you don't have the screws on the outside, which is a nice aesthetic look. And it's not hidden. Like on the Wii here, it's just one little screw. And then it's just a small lock bar insert. If I had one of my ZTs, I'd bring that. That's just the knife I brought. So that's not my favorite. I think they went a little overkill on that. It could be a lot smaller. And when it's open, you can kind of see it has that cut in, though. So it's easier to disengage the lock. But it's just it's just massive. I don't see why it needs to be so big. I do like the jimping on there. That's nice. And as far as flippers go, like I said, not the, not the smoothest knife out there. Um, I mean, look at this. Look at this Kaiser Ursa Minor. See how it just shuts on itself if you're not carefully if you don't move your finger out of the way it'll just shut the Wii's not quite as smooth yeah it's about the same as the Spyderco really in smoothness but it has such a good detent for flipping so most of my Kaiser here's another Kaiser I have one in my pocket real quick sorry you broke the camera it's my uh what do you call this one Rattler this one's stupidly smooth I mean you're not going to get it to free close. You're you're going to kind of have to shake it a little bit. I mean, it's not bad, but it could be smoother. Um, price wise, I think I paid what did I get this for 160, 166 or something like that on Amazon. Uh, Knife Center is about 168. Blade HQ is very similar, so not a lot of price differences there on this particular Spyderco model. Made in Taichung, Taiwan, which is make really good knife. So, considering the price, uh, if you get M4 steel, titanium. On bearings, um, that's a really good deal. I mean, that's a that's a really fantastic deal, actually. Um, for a knife made in Taiwan, which is the Taichung factory produces some really nice knives, and I would say it's a little step above some of the Chinese. Um, well, I don't know, because the Kaisers are really good too. So I don't know that that I was thinking about this when I bought this. I was like, God, oh, so similar to my Kaiser. You know, which one do I like better? And honestly, I think I mean the the Ursa Minor is actually more expensive. So if you're looking for a comparison knife, you know this would save you some money, and you get a better steel M4 versus S35. As, I mean, I like S35 quite a bit, so I don't know if better is the right word, but Edger Tangent technically is better on the M4. Um, very similar size knives, but if you like a good flipping action, um, you're gonna like the you're gonna like the Spyderco. I mean, excuse me, the the Kaiser a lot better. It's just a lot smoother. If you like being able to use the spidey hole and you know the, the other different methods of opening see it fell there even um, then you're going to want to get the Spyderco so just something kind of similar to compare um, if you love the Delica and you've always kind of wanted a flipper Delica well, here you go it's essentially what it is um, it does have the Spyderco wire clip which is it functions really well like it's probably one of the better functioning clips out there but it it's kind of ugly I mean it just doesn't look good I mean look at this machine clip on that Kaiser that looks awesome or the machine clip on this uh, Wii is awesome you know it it just i mean even this cheaper titanium clip on the rattler looks great it, it's just a kind of a cheaper looking clip and I, I get why they do it it works well and it's really deep carry but um it is you know it just kind of doesn't look as good on the knife so that is one other negative i would say but it's a functional clip so that's kind of a nitpick you know 
And a lot of these things are nitpicks, because ultimately this is a fantastic knife, and it's a good deal, and I would definitely recommend getting it. I just want to point out that they're, you know, the flipping action is not the best, it's not the smoothest knife, and, you know, those there's a few cons. Um, they're just kind of personal preferences, though. There's nothing wrong with this knife. I would definitely recommend it as a purchase. Um, it's a Spyderco. You know, it's going to be backed by warranty. You know, it's going to be well made. It's going to last you for years. So there's nothing really um, negative to say. Just, you know, some kind of nitpicky things, I guess, about the Mantra that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, ultimately, though, the pros outweigh the cons. It's a good EDC knife. It's lightweight to carry. It's a good size. It has good steel. Um, you know, lots of different ways to open it. It's ambidextric. So overall, it's, I think it's a pretty good, pretty good knife. So I think that's going to wrap up my review of the Spyderco Mantra. Any questions or comments, we can leave them down below. We will see you on the next video.